your sugar, babe I guess high off your love, I don't know how to be What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below. Hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how I press up a shirt using Super Color Transfers. In my last video, you guys should have seen me order some Super Color Transfers. They came in, they look fire, and I want to show you guys how I press them up. Let me show you the transfers first first the colors look good like I was so nervous because I told you guys I was trying to like figure out the color situation they look so good so these are the transfers that I'll be pressing up today this will be on the front of the shirt and this will be on the back of the shirt so I'll just have to cut this press this on the front press this on the back and that's it that's literally it. This transfer would cost me about $10. So for $10, I got the front and the back. I don't have to weed anything. I don't have to cut anything with a cutter. The colors are amazing. Imagine having to cut this out with the cutter and weed it and press it. That's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven presses you will have to do. I only have to do two presses with this transfer. It's saving me time. I think it's saving me money because that would have been a lot of vinyl that I would have to get just because I want to use so many colors. So if you have a design and you're ha you have multiple colors in that design and maybe you can't afford to do the screen printing route or you can't afford to do the vinyl route, try ordering transfers from Super Color. It's really easy, really, really easy. It's easy to press. These will be going on white t-shirts so in this video i'll be showing you guys how i use super color how i press it up and how quick and easy it is so just keep on watching okay one thing about super color is that they give you spares so that you can make sure your heat press is to the right settings for the pressure the heat and the time so they give you some spares so you can practice first before you actually get into production so that's what i'm about to do right now i'm just making sure that i have my pressure right my heat set to the correct setting and making sure that my time is set correctly. So I'm gonna set you guys up so you can watch me do the practice one and then I'm gonna go through an actual shirt that I'm gonna do. Okay, so let me try this on. See if I like how everything is placed on the front and the back. It looks good, everything looks good. But let me just see if I, if I like everything. When I take my head off, don't judge me. I'll be popping tomorrow. Okay. Ooh, I gotta go in the bathroom. I like that. I like that. The back. Oh, y'all can't see. That's the back. I think I like it. I think I like how everything is placed. What's that? Four fingers. I was trying to use that little t-shirt guide thing, but I think I've just been doing this so long by hand that that thing's just not doing it for me. It's just kind of in my way. So I think I'm going to just do is that three fingers down or four? Three or four fingers down. 
I really like how the back is placed on this one. Looks really good. So I think we got all our settings the way that I want them to be. So now I'm gonna go ahead and actually press up a shirt, give you guys complete instructions on how to press up a shirt. So let's get to it. Okay, so y'all not gonna be able to see my face on this part, but I'll be sure to explain it very well to you. So your first step when pressing up a shirt is that you want to get the moisture out of the shirt. And to get the moisture out of the shirt, you just heat it up. And if you've done this before, just heat it up, you know, your natural, maybe 10 seconds. But a way to actually see if it's done, if you're not seeing steam anymore, a little steam, okay. But if you're not seeing steam anymore, really, that's how you know it's ready to be pressed on and the moisture is gone. So I'm just gonna pre-press it first. So the moisture is out of my shirt and you can literally feel the difference when it has moisture in it and when it doesn't. So it just feels really dry right now. And that's how we want it to feel. Just make sure everything is straight. I usually just kind of feel for it, pull the sides, make sure it's straight, everything is even before I begin pressing. So since I have my front and my back design on this transfer, I'm just gonna cut them apart. And you just want to get your transfer centered, place where you wanted it to be placed. I'm going to do four fingers down from the collar. I usually do three, but for this design, it just looks better with four fingers down. So I'm just going to place my fingers here. Make sure it's down four fingers. Then I'm just going to make sure that they're both equal from the edge. And that'll tell me if I'm centered or not. That's about three and a half from the edge. Three and a half from the edge. So I should be centered. I'm also just gonna make sure it's straight. Now, you don't have to do this part. If you trust yourself, trust yourself. But I'm low key a perfectionist, especially with this design. So I just wanna make sure it's actually straight. All right, everything seems good. Oh, we got a package. All right, so I believe everything's straight. Everything's straight, I'm ready to press, so I'm gonna press this down for 15 seconds. And you want firm pressure on this. Supercolor gives you instructions on what you need your heat press set to. So I got very firm pressure on here, and then I have the heat on 330 in 15 seconds. My heat is higher than they suggest, but everybody's heat press is different. And as you can see, you just peel it straight off. You have your transfer on there now. And I'm just gonna give it a pulse press for about five seconds. Now, that design is embedded into this t-shirt. It's not going anywhere, trust me. It looks so good. It feels good, it doesn't feel fake, it doesn't feel like it's sitting up off top of the t-shirt, it feels so great. I did good on that one, it's actually centered, everything looks good. So now we're gonna move on to the back of this t-shirt. And for the back, it's literally the same process. Make sure everything's straight, All right, everything's straight. Now, you really don't have to give it a pre-press here, only because it's already been getting heated up and it's probably moisture free. But for me, I'm just gonna give it a pre-press just to be sure. It's no problem if you just do it just to be sure. So why not? I'm gonna give it a pre-press. Just a quick one. Make sure everything's straight once again. So once again, I'm just gonna do four fingers down from this top collar. I like that placement the best on my test one. So I'm just gonna keep going like that. Making sure everything is straight, of course. Four fingers down from the top. All right, that looks good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it for 15 seconds. High pressure. And when you're peeling these transfers, Supercolor always says, have confidence, just peel. 
So that's what I'm going to do. And it's a hot peel. So you want to peel it when it's hot. Some things are cold peel. Just like that. Nothing's lifting. Everything's on there. And you want to give a post press. Just like that. This one's done. Super quick, super easy. Looks really good. Everything's placed nice. Everything feels good. No issues. So as you can see, using heat transfers are super easy. If you find the right company. I've only tried maybe three separate companies for transfers and Supercolor by far is the best one I've tried. Even when I had little issues with my press settings, I just figured them out. Once you figure out your press settings, you're good to go. And once you figure out how to place everything, you're all set. This shirt looks very good. Everything looks great. No issues. And with me teaching you guys, it took me about 10 minutes, but it might only take me about five if I was just doing it without talking. And if you were to do this with vinyl, you would have to literally cut, weed, do all of the things, make sure everything is straight and lined up with the vinyl. It would take so much work. So if you have a multicolor design or even a single color design, consider using transfers for your next project. That's all I have for you guys. If you guys have any questions about any of my press settings, anything I do, um, what t-shirts I use, what are my favorites, just let me know down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer those for you guys. If you have any questions about super color, I'll answer them to the best of my ability. But if I don't have the answer, I will just lead you to the website. They usually answer all of their questions pretty quickly. They have a um, frequently asked question page where they answer a lot of questions. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me. Other than that, guys, that's all I have for you. Make sure you check out my website link down in the description box below if you would like to shop. But that's all I have for you guys. So may your curls pop and you guys never stop Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.